Hey everyone and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 7 signs other people think you're attractive. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Unlimited Chances As an attractive person, you may get away with more than you realize. Alright, let's say you have a date scheduled, but one hour before something comes up and you need to cancel. Oops. You text the other person, letting them know that you can't come. Most of the time, if you cancel at the last second, the other person's going to get angry. But that's not what happens. Instead, the other person forgives you instantly and they say, No problem, when will you be free? In other words, attractive people get away with most things. Why? Well, because we want attractive people to like us. We want to make a good impression and establish a meaningful connection. So what do we do? We forgive their mistakes in a heartbeat. This psychological phenomenon exists all over the world, but it's rarely conscious, intentional, or obvious to the people involved. If you're the attractive one in the conversation, then you may be getting away with things without realizing your appearance has anything to do with it. Well, for example, you've canceled dates at the last second before and you're accustomed to other people letting you off the hook. Now, I'm not saying attractive people are spoiled or neglectful, not any more neglectful than the rest of us. But the way people react to their mistakes changes because of their good looks. Alright, just, just think about it. If an attractive person bumped into you on the sidewalk, would you lash out and say, Hey, watch where you're walking! Or would you smile and try to get on their good side? Now, no one wants to admit they're biased toward attractive people, but the truth is, we all are. On average, we're much more forgiving of attractive people and we let them off the hook for all kinds of things. If you're an attractive person, then you may be used to getting your way. You may think the world is a kind and forgiving place. Well, maybe it is, or maybe you're just good looking. Number 2. Running to the Rescue We're forgiving of attractive people, but we're also much, much more generous. When you see an attractive person struggling with a problem, what do you do? If you're like most people, you can't wait to offer a helping hand. Okay, let's say you're an attractive individual carrying a heavy box down the road. All of a sudden, a stranger stops and asks, uh, could you use a hand? Out of nowhere, this person volunteers to open a door for you or carry a heavy box. You don't know this person, you've never seen them before in your life, yet they go out of their way to help you. Why? Well, because the world runs to the rescues of attractive people. We're more likely to offer our services, do favors, or inconvenience ourselves for someone we find attractive. But it's not only strangers. As an attractive person, you've always got someone in your life willing to lend a hand. You may not need their help, you may not ask for it, but the fact is people try anyway. Maybe you have co-workers who are always free to help on projects. Maybe your partner doesn't want you to lift a finger. If this sounds familiar, you may be a physically attractive person. Psychologically, this phenomenon isn't exactly complicated. Why do we do favors for attractive people? For the same reason we forgive them in a heartbeat. We want them to like us. We want them to know our names and acknowledge our existence. Yeah, I know that sounds dramatic, but just think about how it feels when a good-looking person pays attention to you. You feel desirable. You feel confident. You feel on top of the world. All because an attractive person turns your way. That's why we do favors for attractive people. We make sacrifices and inconvenience ourselves because those sacrifices give us a reason to spend time with someone that we find attractive. Now, of course, there are lots of reasons why one person could help another. Sometimes it's got nothing to do with romance, attraction, or desire. But attractive people do receive far more favors and attention than an average Joe. So the next time you're facing a problem, maybe you're moving something heavy or you're lost in a confusing part of town, just pay attention to the people who do or don't run to your rescue. If someone lends a helping hand, there's a good chance you're more attractive than most. Number 3. Strange Conversations How often do you talk to strangers? Attractive people talk to strangers more often than most. It doesn't matter if you're introverted or extroverted. Whether you like it or not, good-looking people are like magnets in any social situation. Imagine you're walking through the grocery store, or maybe you're waiting for an ATM at the bank. All of a sudden, a stranger stops what they're doing to start up a conversation with you. They'll talk about something meaningless like the weather. They'll ask you questions and try to create a connection out of nothing. 
To put it simply, any stranger can see how good-looking you are. You may not notice them, but they notice you. In their mind, your good looks give them a reason to say hello, even if you couldn't care less. For most attractive people, these conversations are awkward and unwelcome. No one wants to stand in the grocery store exchanging small talk with someone they don't know. Yet situations like these are commonplace for someone like you. If you're an attractive person, you have a hard time going anywhere without being noticed. Someone's always trying to get on your radar. Maybe they're flirting with you. Maybe they're just exchanging small talk. Either way, you've talked to your fair share of strangers in the last week because you're more attractive than you realize. And unfortunately, that means those conversations aren't stopping anytime soon. Number 4. Surprising Insecurity are people surprised by your insecurities? Yeah, attractive people have insecurities like everybody else. You think your nose is too big, you think your hair sits in a weird shape, or maybe you're worried your clothes don't fit you correctly. Whatever your insecurities are, you may express those worries to your friends and family, and they may be surprised to hear them. In their eyes, you've got nothing to worry about. They can see just how attractive you are, and they hardly notice those tiny insecurities. While you're concentrating on small problems, they recognize all the great qualities you hardly notice. The truth is, we're terrible judges of our own appearances. You look for the worst in yourself and ignore the best, so you frequently underestimate just how attractive you are. That's why other people are surprised to hear about your insecurities. Those flaws may be some of your most attractive and endearing traits. Remember, just because you don't like something about yourself, that doesn't mean the rest of the world agrees. Number 5. Social Intimidation Do people get nervous around you? We've all had this experience before. You start talking to someone you're attracted to and your confidence falls to pieces. Your mouth gets dry, you stumble over your words, you don't know what to say and you can't seem to find your footing. Attractive people are intimidating because we care about what they think. You may become self-conscious and that amplifies your nerves and insecurities. Your deep desire to make a good impression ultimately backfires. If you're an attractive person, you may have the opposite experience. You feel confident talking to people, but they rarely feel confident around you. You notice other people falling to pieces during a simple, casual conversation. You may wonder if you did something wrong, but the only problem is how attractive you are. Your good looks may be intimidating the people you meet, and that can have a major impact on your social life. Even though you're friendly, funny, and approachable, other people don't see that side of you. In other words, your good looks may be sabotaging your connections. Number 6. Relationship Assumptions Do people assume you're in a romantic relationship? Well, this happens all the time. When you see an attractive person out in the world, you assume they're off the market. Even though you're interested in talking to them, your brain crosses them off your list. In your mind, they're too attractive to be single. Oh, you'd be surprised how many good-looking people struggle to find relationships. No one talks to them, no one flirts with them, no one pays them compliments because the entire world assumes they're in a relationship. So if this sounds like you, you may think you're unattractive. You may recognize this void in your social life and you may assume that you're unappealing to most people, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Number 7. Romantic Interest have you ever been in a relationship? Have you ever dated someone you found attractive? Of all the signs on this list, this one is the most obvious. Just look back at your relationship history. Whether you're experienced in love or new to the game, romantic attention is a dead giveaway that people are attracted to you. But here's the problem. Most of the time, people aren't satisfied with attracting somebody. Instead, they want to attract everybody. In other words, they're worried about all the people who don't find them attractive instead of concentrating on the people who do. The truth is, no one in the world is universally attractive. Even the most beautiful celebrities are not appealing to the entire world. Yeah, they may be generally attractive. Yeah, they may fit our collective definition of a beautiful person. But romantic preferences exist on a wide spectrum, and that spectrum is far too diverse to encompass any single person. So what does that mean for you? It means there are people who find you attractive and people who don't. Everyone's romantic preferences are unique to them. In other words, there's someone out there who's attracted to you, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. 
Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.